AMD's keeping their promise. Intel might be keeping their promise. Windows might give you ads and the hotly anticipated feature for Windows should be here sometime soon. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. We're gonna talk today about how Flesh Brett keeps forgetting to remind you that we are streaming meme review on Twitch right as this video goes live at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go join the Fleshlings at twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple. Now back to hot news. Starting off with AMD keeping the promise that they once said that they weren't going to keep and then kind of were like, yeah, we'll get back to you and like maybe sometime in 2021 we'll really keep the promise. Well, we're here in 2022 and AMD is finally following through with the idea that if you bought a 300 series motherboard, hey, you can run the latest chips on it, which is something that they kind of promised at the beginning of when they started rolling out their new Ryzen chips. The AM4 would support everything until 2020 and and then some 2020 chips came out and they didn't support it. So it's good news that here in 2022, we're getting a little bit extra. That kind of makes up for the fact that they didn't really fulfill the promise back in 2020. And then after community backlash was like, hey, that's kind of a, it's not exactly a lie, but it's like, it's rude. And then AMD was like, Ah, shucks, we couldn't get away with the capitalism this time, which, by the way, for all you AMD fanboys out there, I'm gonna say this specifically to rile you up. Um, AMD doesn't care about you. They care about money. Just like Nvidia, just like Intel, they do shady crap too. Maybe it's not as egregious, maybe they haven't gotten away with as much because they've been the underdog for a little bit, but give them their time on top, and I don't see them necessarily putting the customer first every single time. But here we do have an indication of them at least putting some good face steps into it with extended 300 series support going on with selective beta BIOS updates that are gonna happen for the X370, B350, and A320 motherboards that you can have for these chips, which should start rolling out sometime in April of 2022, according to AMD. So not right now, in a month or so, two years after they said that they would do it. Here you go. But we are getting support for additional chips. AMD confirming that 5800X3D release date and price of April 20th at $449. You couldn't knock $29 off the price, AMD? Like, launch it on 420 for $420. You can't, why wouldn't you, you've done weird things like that on the pet. Like you launched the Radeon 7 on 7.7. 7. No, you launched that in February, didn't you? Never mind. forget everything I'm saying. Anyways, confirming a bunch of other chips. The Ryzen 3 4100 for $99. The Ryzen 5 4500 for 129. The 4600G for 154. The 5500 for 159. The 5600 for 199. And the 5700X for 299. These are things we kind of already knew, but AMD confirming it nonetheless. And Intel not confirming it, but retailers shipping out the 12900 KS to first customers before the embargo has ever happened. The 12900KS is supposed to be the high-end gaming chip that competes with the 5800X3D. It's specifically binned. It's supposed to be faster. A retailer put it up for sale and then realized that they weren't supposed to and then they took it down, but somebody bought it in the meantime and then they actually got their chip sent out to them. And so you can see it right there. No benchmarks as of yet, but it did sell for $790. Intel hasn't disclosed the price of the chip for normal people. We'll see and have to see when it launches, but it'll probably come out sometime soon, especially considering AMD's posing to launch their 5800X3D on April 20th. And what we're posing to launch is some UFD deals. You want the highest tech deals on the internet? Well, here you go. Over on the UFD deals website, we've got Deepcool and their Castle 280EX go for $85 right now, down 43%. We've got the Western Digital 18 terabytes desktop hard drive for $299.99, which is 43% off. Who needs to store that much data? Should we get one of these? 300 bucks? Okay, Cooler Masters Mui Gold 850V2 Fully Modular Power Supply. It's 36% off at $79.99, as well as the Logitech Brio 4K webcam coming in at $160.59, which is down 20%, and SteelSeries Rival 5 Gaming Mouse down to $35.99, which is a savings of 40%. What's not saving anything right now, maybe besides your financial future, is Crypto Stonks Bitcoin up 1.5% to be at $39.48 to Ethereum, also up 3.6%. 
6% on the day to be at 26.34. Dogecoin also giving you that little wiggle up to 0.5% up on the day to be at 11.3 cents. You know who wants more money? You know who wants more cash dollar? Microsoft, which is why the internet lost its crap when it saw that Microsoft was potentially considering putting ads into File Explorer on Windows 11. People were seeing an experimental banner that was showing up here for Microsoft Editor in case you wanted to write with confidence across documents, email, and the web with advanced writing suggestions. Well, Microsoft was gonna pitch that to you. Microsoft spokesman coming out and saying that it was an experimental banner that was not intended to be published externally and was turned off, okay? They're not trying to sell you ads yet. However, they did say that they're not ruling out putting ads into Windows 11 and File Explorer or otherwise. And it's not the first time Microsoft's done it anyways. Haven't you got the OneDrive ads all of the freaking time? They're the worst. I, I just like, it's so spammy, Microsoft. I don't want OneDrive. Why is it automatically installed? I just, I already have other solutions for this. Or like how they're trying to put push Edge on you, how they're automatically updating the background. The first thing you launch when you launch Windows 10 is freaking Edge popping up and being like, finish me. Anyways, if Microsoft started to advertise to you in File Explorer, what would you want them to advertise? Let me know down below in the comments. What would you want Microsoft to advertise to you? Maidens, he says, I would want Halo themed Cheetos. But we talked earlier about how AMD was keeping their promise of getting their CPUs onto the 300 series motherboards. Intel looks to be keeping their promise of launching their Alchemist series GPUs in the first quarter of 2022. Good job. It, it's only going to be the laptop ones and on March 30th, and that's probably when they're going to announce them. They're probably actually not going to be out for sale, but Arc Alchemist GPUs coming out for laptops March 30th, 8 a.m. Pacific time. You can see the Intel Arc graphics take center stage and get first look at our new description graphics for laptops. First look means that you're, you're not buying that anytime soon. And what type of performance can we expect from the first product to make it to the market? The Intel Arc A370M. Well, turns out two times the performance in graphics versus integrated graphics alone while maintaining similar form factors. So maybe this means like an ultra book that can do really fast. I'd like that. I don't, I don't know what this means for like video games. We'll have to wait and see. Are you excited for Intel's GPUs? I wasn't, but then I waited for you to respond anyways. Not personally. Okay. Is it because you have an NVIDIA GPU? Yeah. Because you're some sort of rich boy? Yeah. You you swagging on all the kids? Uh-huh. Swagging that wagon. I don't think I should say that. This is a workplace. This is a workplace. What's also going to be a workplace is where you store your video games. Microsoft Direct Storage API coming out to Windows 10 and Windows 11. This is the API that's supposed to speed up games, make them really fast on Windows, kind of similar to what's going on with the new consoles. Xbox Series X has their velocity architecture, and then PS5 has their Kraken setup, which does all of the compression. So the Direct Storage API is being made available to game developers right now. However, without the key feature of GPU accelerated asset decompression, which is probably the thing that m people are most excited for, where you can actually use the GPU to process all of the data that's coming in and out of the NVMe drive. Currently with the Direct Storage API, you actually have to still use the CPU, which slows it down a scooch, but Microsoft says that it's next on their roadmap to get working. So once that finally happens, we might get faster games, which I've just been really enjoying the latest series of games that come out that are like modern games, Cyberpunk 2077, Elden Ring. They both load really quickly on PCs, which is good to see. And we're starting to see that roll out as the new consoles are also catching up and not running on hard drives anymore. And I'm not going to run on a hard drive anymore because this episode of Hot News is done. I'll see you tomorrow for more t t tech news on the internet. Went out real strong there, Brett.